All right, welcome back, bud. So this time around, we're gonna create a, uh, an adjusted trench pro square program so that the user can choose whether they want a trench up or down, which is just really mining up or down. So yeah, let's create uh, another program which uses the other code that we built for the trench. So we're gonna create a trench Two, and it's just a copy of trench one, but we can also name it like uh, mining up or mining down. But we're just gonna go with trench for now, okay? If you wanna if you wanna change the name, go ahead. All right. So we have the same code as trench one, and then at the start, it's where we decide whether we dig up or dig down. So let's see. We need to make a function for this start right here. So let's do that function up oh uppies function oh no no let's do that first okay comma uh turtle dot big up turtle dot up and then end. and then we're gonna do a function for going down function downies dot dig out oh, down then turtle dot down and I think we need to adjust up here with the first function so turtle dig up All right, good. So then here is where we're gonna add a variable and it's gonna be, we're gonna see, so it's gonna be C choice, okay? And then we're gonna add um, an if statement here. If C equals one, then, Uppies else if C equals two. Actually, if we don't select that it's one, then we can just be like oh, okay well no 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 let's let's do one or two all right then downies end right there so here the user will ask the user hey do you want to go up or down uh if you press one you go up if you press two you go down so let's see that we spelled that downies is right and then uppies two peas cool all right now let's go back here and let's ask the user c equals two number io dot read and we need to print out print one for up two for down okay and now let's adjust the actual code that's running it 
So you're going to ask how deep they want the square trench, the four square trench to go, either up or down. And then for I, it'll just call the square trench. Okay, so that should be good as is. So let's say the user picks, hey, we want to go four down. Okay, great. You want it to go up or down. If they press down, it'll call this function right here for, and then do it four times. So like if they want a three deep or four deep. Um, all right, let's just run the code. That's where you are. We're gonna go down here. Okay, so. Okay. How deep we wanna go? We're just gonna go down two. Then do you want to go up or do you want to go down? We're going to press two for down. Then it should actually do our thing. But why is it not? Uh, so if it's downies, then yeah, it should turtle uh, dig down. Why is it not? Let's see, downies, yeah, and up. Hmm. Function uppies and function downies. Let's let's make this just an if and end save. Okay. So these it looks like these aren't being called, uh, but they should. So if c equals one, then that okay. Control save, control exit two, then two. It's not registering the um, what's it called? The going down or going up functions. So portal dot function function down. Okay. So we if it's if c equals two, let's see, let's print right here. And then see if this is registering because if we print it here and it's showing up, then that means it's working. And if not, then we need to figure it out. Two then it's so it's registering the the uh the input for two but it's not actually converting it to anything oh so edit let's go down here so c yeah c should be this why is it not reading that so two number io dot read oh because we're not passing that variable right here. We need to put C right here. All right, then control save, control exit, and trench. Okay, so we're gonna go too deep, enter, and then we're gonna go down to, so it digs, makes our little trench, then digs again, makes our little trench. So now we've created a perfect square, that goes too deep down. Now let's go over here and see if we can test out um, if it goes goes up. Okay, so uh, we're gonna put it. All right, so it should go up and then start the square here. Right. So trench two. So how deep do you want to go? So uh, actually, we should change that wording so that we don't get. Confused. So we're gonna go. We want to go up like ten times, right? We're gonna dig uh, our way out. So ten, and then we want to go up. So we press one. So it'll dig up, make our square, and then just keep going. And like that. So now we have a program that will dig a small trench 
it will also mine down and mine up. Let's see. If we give it a minute or two. And let's see if it actually stays. Oh. Ah, no. Let's go. Do we push it? Ah. Oh, let's go. Push it. You know, just keep going. We can add like a, a detection where it's like, hey, if there's nothing above you, then please stop. But this is fine too. So, all right, and clear. Now let's delete the that C at a French because we don't need it. We were just we just put it there to test. Yep. All right. And that's about it. Uh, hope that helps. And until next video, bug. Um, I will try to make an adjustable trench that's like maybe like uh, nine squares, sixteen squares, and then like length and width. But um, I don't know yet. Okay. Later, bug.